Yeah, thank you very much and good morning to you all. Um, my name is Klaus Molt. I'm the CIO at FICO. And part of my and my team's responsibility at FICO is to run the cloud services uh, and also to look at what does the future cloud services look at uh, uh, at FICO. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about what FICO is, what type of company we are, and our journey to the AD AWS and the public cloud. Well, most of you know FICO, at least if you've been living in the US, for the FICO score. The FICO score is used in 90 out of the top 100 uh, lending institutions for the risk assessment needed to evaluate credit. So if you have to apply for a house loan or a car loan or a credit card, you likely have interfaced with the FICO score. But the FICO score is a lot more, uh, or FICO is a lot more than just FICO score. We also have a significant amount of software uh, that we deliver, and it's advanced analytics software. We have delivered that to more than 10,000 customers in more than 100 countries around the globe. Having said that, most of these solutions has been delivered on-prem, and it was not until about four years ago that we started our journey into the cloud, where we created a private cloud uh, with data centers in the US and data centers in Europe to deliver these type of services. What we learned over the last couple of years, because we deliver these software to highly regulated industries, is that our customers in the finance community as well as insurance community is now starting to look to deliver their solutions and hence the offerings that we will deliver in the public cloud. They're all looking at AWS and figuring out how they can deliver that solution. So it's only obvious for us to meet our clients in the cloud and in the public cloud. So uh, delivering these things in the public cloud is obviously very different than delivering it in the private cloud. Um, we, we have done a significant amount of work in order to understand how we can get to the public cloud and the benefits of getting to the public cloud. So while we're looking at the benefits to go to the public cloud versus our private cloud, it became pretty obvious that it had some significant benefits to us. Those benefits that you heard before is obviously cost efficiencies. Uh, we know that we can drive down the cost of our solutions by taking advantage of the services that AWS has to offer. And that is to enable things like scale up and scale down of the services for our customers. We also understand that it's a lot easier to package our solutions, whether that is our shared service solutions, I'll show you a little later, or it is the platform that we built. Uh, we can deliver at velocity that we haven't been able to before in our own private cloud. And then very important for us as well is that AWS has a global presence, and they continue to expand that global presence. We deliver our solutions, and we have to deliver that in a secure, scalable fashion. And the last point here is very important to us as we operate in regulated industries, and that is compliance. What you may not know is that a lot of the services that is being provided by AWS has already been audited and have already got the stamp of compliance in terms of PCI or SAS 70 or SysTrust. And we use those reports, those audits, to extend our own internal products and point to the audits and compliance that AWS is already providing as part of the solutions. So how do we, how do we go to the public cloud? Well, obviously, there's a fair amount of planning that needs to go into it. Remember, we're a 61-year-old company. We build a lot of on-prem software. And that software, we used to do a lift and shift into our private cloud. But going to AWS, we had to rethink how these products were built. We had to plan better. We had to look at how the product was constructed and pull out a lot of the common services to build microservices as part of our platform that we're now are going to deliver on AWS. And then another piece that's extremely important so we can deliver at the pace that our customers expect us to deliver on is automation and manageability. 
using some of the frameworks that's available on AWS, we build a significant amount of automation so we can deploy at a pace we have not been able to do before, and also manage the services with the, uh, with the solutions that AWS provides us. Another thing that I believe that Raphael also told us was that we did not do this alone. We had an exceptional account manager that helped bring all the right resources to bear when we built our solutions. Uh, we sat together, we created a plan for all of our products. How do we get to the public cloud with our financial industries, with our financial solutions? And uh, that plan, uh, it became pretty clear since we are an old company, we build a lot of on-prem software, was that we had to reschool or re-educate our internal folks. So we built a curriculum of micro-learnings where we got input all the way from our CEO down to the individual engineers, and we have rolled that out to the complete company. So everybody get a good sense of why we're going to the public cloud and what are the challenges and the benefits with going to the public cloud. So um, we obviously have started executing on the vision, and then what we are, the state that we're now in is that we just continue to enhance and continue to build on what we already have delivered for some of our clients. We use a lot of AWS services, and the next slide is just an eye chart of some of the services that we use for our solution. A lot, as you can imagine, of our software had to be rewritten to take full advantage of the services and continue to understand what new services is being delivered on AWS. Our architecture and the things that we've built is very straightforward, I would say. It took time to build it and test it and validate it. What we built is really a common layer of shared services. And these are services that include things like logging, monitoring, access controls, that the operational team really focused on building, building an immutable infrastructure that you basically can uh, deliver in form of an army uh, on AWS. On top of that shared services infrastructure, our development team developed the platform in terms of microservices. So this is where all of our common advanced analytics frameworks is sitting. And then the products itself is being built on top of that framework. It enables us to innovate at a speed we haven't been able to do before and deliver new functionality at a much faster pace uh, that we've been able, able to do before. We actually renew some of these services on a monthly basis. As a result of that, we have migrated some of our, our services to the cloud. Uh, the FICO analytics scores for consumers is all, already running on AWS. Our marketing services is running on AWS. And we are now starting to go live with some of our financial customers. We're just about to go live with a very large financial customer in Australia. And at this, we delivered this particular solution as compared to in our internal cloud, we have seen a 6x performance improvement. And I fully expect that over the next six months, we're going to see 10 to 15 times faster delivery times for the solutions in the financial industry. So with that, uh, I'll just leave you one more thought. We have had a lot of learnings. We learned from a lot of folks that already implemented solutions. We have had a lot of expertise coming to us from AWS. So I'll very much encourage you to learn as much as you possibly can using these sessions and going forward. So I'll leave you with that thought, and thank you very much for your time today.